Does screen recording software ruin Star Citizen performance? That is what we're talking about today. We've got a bit of testing done with NVIDIA Shadow Play, or Share as it seems to be called now. It's basically part of the GeForce experience. You can turn it on and it will record with the press of a button, record your gameplay. It's very clever. It's actually quite good in what it does, but does it ruin performance? Let's get into it. So, as always, I've done this testing in Lawville, 20 runs with the NVIDIA experience basically just doing nothing, not with this NVIDIA share bit on, turned on, and then I've got 20 runs with it turned on and recording because I did some testing when it was just on, it wasn't making much difference, so I thought let's just look at actually when it's recording. And all this has been done with the minimum spec system, so the i5-400 as well as the 1066 gigabyte, so the bare minimum I kind of recommend to get in the game. And as you see here, there is not a massive difference between the two sets of results. So, why is this? You'd think this minimum spec is being really hammered, the CPU is being really quite pushed all the way around Lawville, and also the GPU is being pushed pretty hard. And the basic, the reason for this is because it's using specific hardware on the GPU to record all this footage. It's not using CPU, and it's not really using the parts of the GPU that get you your performance in game. You may have heard about the NVIDIA NVENC encoder, which is what, when talking about streaming, that's a, a basically a part of the GPU that is dedicated to streaming and it doesn't affect your performance. And that is part of what's going on here. There's other things involved as well. In <laughs> I did some research into it. There's parts of it involved in taking the footage before it gets to DirectX 11, the graphics API. That's probably too complicated for this video. But basically, the good news with this stuff is that your GPU basically can do it for free. So, if, you basically want to become the next morphologist or Farrister maybe, you can basically have a free go. You can just use the software and it doesn't really make much performance hit to Star Citizen. And obviously you can see, if you're looking for every single frame, which is kind of what this little series I've been doing, looking at random different things, how to get every single frame. If you are looking to get every single frame, it's probably worth turning off because there is a tiny performance hit basically compared to not having it on at all. But otherwise, if you want to make nice cinematic videos and do fancy things with your camera, go for it. But that's enough for this one. We'll see you soon. Bye.